Okay, so this is my handbag collection video. This bit should be added in at the end, but I'll probably forget to do it and do it wrong. I missed out two bags from my handbag collection video, so I just want to add these in here. So, are you ready? These are the last two I'm showing you, but they're actually going to be the first two that you're going to see because I forgot to add them in. So, my beautiful, beautiful Anya Hindmarsh Ebury tote. This is the smaller size one, which is a lot more practical size than the bigger ones. This one is covered in stickers. They're not real stickers. They are actually stickers embossed into the leather. They're absolutely beautiful. Each side is different and it's just so, so much fun. I've not used this bag for a long time and I really should use it again. It's just absolutely cool. It's a real talking point and people always talk to me when I use it. It's just absolutely wonderful. It's kind of me in bag form. I love it so, so much. Look, bags have feelings too. And then there's one more that I missed out. I can't believe I missed this out. This is my Gucci Dinosaurus. I always pronounce that wrong. And it's covered in crystals. It's absolutely stunning. And it weighs an absolute ton. <laughs> it's not nice to use at all. It's absolutely amazing. It's got pink, pink on the back. It's got all pink inside of it, but it is so, so heavy. Even when there's nothing in it, it weighs about four or five pounds. And by the time you put your purse and stuff in it, it's clocking on for half stone. We will forgive it because it's absolutely amazing, but it is just so heavy. Look at it. Oh, it's one hell of a bag. It's absolutely stunning. I've not used it much. I really should use it more. It's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, please enjoy the rest of this video. I cannot believe I forgot to include these two. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hello, everybody. It's me again, Cruiser Bag Lady. So I hope you're all well with it. Okay, so this is going to be a very long video. So you want to get yourself comfy, get yourself a nice cup of coffee, a cup of tea, hot chocolate, whatever, and just sit down and relax and enjoy this. So I have pulled all my handbags together. So I promised to do this video last year and I just never got around to it. So I've pulled all my handbags together because I'm going to have a bit of a clear out and maybe get rid of some. So I'm not sure yet, but I thought I'll pull them together. I've a look what I've got and weigh up what I've used, what I haven't used for a long time. Thought it'd be quite interesting. So this is in no particular order at all. I'm just going to literally show you each one and just talk about them a little bit. But um, if I can remember what they're called and stuff. So are you ready? Are you ready? We might be here for some time. Okay, so the first one, there is no particular order. So the first one that I've picked up is my Louis Vuitton Speedy Cerise Cherries bag which is by the posh designer, I can't remember what her name is, but it's so cute, it's covered in like little cherries, it's adorable, it's very well used, the handles have got a very dark patina, I've had a few people want to buy this off me, but I absolutely love it, this was my first Louis Vuitton bag, and it's just, it's just so special, and I know that they've become very desirable because somebody famous was using it, and everybody wants them, but I just love it because it's a bit old and it's just like, it's just so sweet and I love it so much. So that's my first one. Uh, second one is a Chanel bag and this is like a flap one, but it's got like an extra compartment on the back of it. I don't know what the name of it is. I just know that it's really, really nice. It's the most beautiful soft leather. It's just absolutely gorgeous and the back pocket is so useful it, it comes in really really useful you can fit so much stuff in it so it has got this lovely like chain and it's like an antique brass sort of color so it's got this like little claw on it that you can put on different lengths on it so you can adjust the the length and stuff on it it's just absolutely beautiful it's a real classy bag and i just I really like it, it's lovely. As I like all my bags, so beautiful. So next up is another Louis Vuitton bag. So it's quite an unusual one. I know some people don't like this one. Um, people have mixed feelings over it. So it is crocodile, uh, alligator handle, uh, alligator bottom. Um, it's got uh, calf hair sides. And then I think this is like silky stuff. So it's got lots and lots of compartments. There's quite a lot going off. It's quite a fussy sort of bag it's got this um cute little lock on the front that doesn't come off and then obviously it's got so many compartments in it as well not really used it that much um obviously because it's white and i don't really know why i've not used it maybe i need to use it more it's quite an unusual bag but 
again because of all the different textures i really like it feels beautiful you can tell the quality of it it's absolutely gorgeous got a louis vuitton logo on the front lovely feet on the bottom and it's just really really beautiful next bag this is the one that i used all the way through the first lockdown when we didn't go anywhere so this is my red gucci marmont which again i've not used this for a long time so possibly whether i do decide to part with a couple of my gucci's i might do so this is a size small um and it's the most beautiful size it's really really easy to use i always find that they hold just the right amount they're not too big they're not too small and they're just absolutely lovely so i've got it in red i've also got it in black again same bag same size and everything obviously the beautiful heart on the back so these have been very fashionable for quite a while now and i think they're still really really popular obviously they bring them out in different leathers and you can get some sequins on and stuff but these are just like the the classic ones so that's the black one as well so i have got two of those then we've got a super cute little gucci antigona um i think this is the size small is either small or mini um again beautiful beautiful bag i only bought this last year but i really like it i love the shiny croc it's just absolutely gorgeous comes with a beautiful long strap as well the only thing i can say with these they're a bit evil when you use them because they don't open up very far so when you put your hand in sometimes the zip sort of catches on your hand so it can make your hand a bit sore if you're not careful but i really really like it it's lovely it's so easy to use um obviously you can wear it in so many different ways and it's just absolutely beautiful look at the craftsmanship oh, i love that shine it's gorgeous uh right so next we've got i don't know where to go uh, okay this one that i bought this year as well so it's a louis vuitton uh vanity pm bag um i've got like a little bit little louis vuitton little bag charm on it it comes with the most adorable chain it was the chain that drew me to it it's so nice very nice bag to carry they're a bit of a pain to get in there out of obviously if you watched other reviews you'll know that they're a bit of a you have to sort of hold them to open them up but this one has got like a little liner in it as well so it's um easy to find all your stuff but they're a bit as you zip them up <laughs> but they're so cute and the chain is just adorable obviously you can take the chain off and you can just use it as a little clutch bag as well it's just so so sweet um this is the multi sort of colored one so reverse mono i think it's called lovely so cute so that's the little louis vuitton pm right next um okay reach some so this is my little max mara bag that i had for christmas um it has got some long straps with it but i've been using it as a clutch it's made from like woolly stuff and it's just adorable it's just like a fluffy cushion and i've really enjoyed using it it's so cute it's got the little max mara logo on the little clasp and it's just so nice oh it's so lovely and then we've got trying to keep them all together with their dust bags so we've got a chanel vintage flat bag so this is a very very old one i think it was from either the 1980s or the 1990s so it is quite well used it's got a bit of wear and stuff to the sides of it but um I just love it because it's so old and it's got the real 24 karat gold plated hardware which is just absolutely beautiful and obviously it's got so much history it's just so classy so again one of my lovely favorites i just love it obviously they start to go a bit flat over time and stuff but you just know how old they are and when a bag gets really old it just fascinates me i just love them so much uh next we've got so many <laughs> Next, we've got a Gucci Marmont again. So this one is a size medium. So this one is quite a lot bigger than the small ones. Um, they're a bit bigger, but they do hold more, obviously. They have a beautiful pink satin lining. This one's embroidered with like flowers and it's got pearls and says loved across it. And it's black velvet. And again, I just love it so much. I can remember when I bought this, I was so excited and I just, I loved it so much. It's just so cool. So I won't part with this one. I just absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. So 
the next one is let's find an old one uh, we've got this one which is a Louboutin Sunshine Express so it's a speedy I think it's a size 30 I think these are all 30 I don't think they're a 35 um so this is a size 30 I think so they're a Sunshine Express and they're literally covered in sequins they're just so beautiful and each one does spell the LV logo if you can see that absolutely gorgeous I love it so much so they do do them in quite a few different colors so I've got this one and then I had to find somewhere to put them all I've also got this one as well which is the same but this one is black and again it's got the Louboutin logos on it it's not quite so obvious this one that is Louboutin as the greeny coloured one because you can see the logos more this one it tends to just look like a sequin bag it's only when you look really closely that you can see the LV logo again the the catwalk video of this season totally fascinates me they get off a vintage train and they've got like little models and stuff carrying the bags and they're all sequins and furry and oh, it's just so stunning if you've never watched it you need to it's just absolutely amazing um i think it's from just tell you inside uh 2012 2013 so they are a special edition so beautiful look oh, they're so pretty so that's my sunshine express bags then we've got a super cute uh gucci or philia i think this is called i can't quite remember but it's like looks like a clutch but it's not a clutch so it's got a magnetic very strong magnetic fastening and then it comes with the most beautiful chain the chain on this is absolutely stunning um it's like twisted gold oh it's just so beautiful it, i think it's one of the most beautiful chains ever it's absolutely stunning the hardware on it is just so amazing i think you have to see these in real life to really appreciate them but they're absolutely beautiful so nice and obviously it's got the little beauty logo on the front you can use it as a clutch or you can use it cross body or on your shoulder again the magnet's so strong <laughs> you have to watch your fingers but it's lovely i really like it my mum really likes this one as well so I think if I ever saw this, I think my mum would be after it. All right, that's that one. And then we've got, there's just so many. Okay, we've got a red. This is like an orangey red. Um, Chanel uh, medium classic flap. So this is the double flap one. So you've got one bit and then another bit, which really just gets in the way. It's a bit of a pain, but they're absolutely adorable. So. This one's quite a new one, so it's quite puffy still. Um, and the colour is just so vibrant. It's so, so cheerful. It's just lovely. So, But it is, you don't think it's like an orange or red, but then when you put it near another red, the difference is quite unbelievable. So as you can see, it's like a real bright orangey red. Absolutely beautiful, very special bag. We call it my goddess, because she's just so beautiful. Uh, so next bag we've got, I've not used this one yet, because I only bought this for of weeks ago so this is a celine micro belt bag again in the most beautiful like lilac -y pink color it's just absolutely adorable this one's got silver hardware um and it comes with a long strap so you can wear it in lots of different ways and i can't wait to use it i've not used it yet but it's absolutely beautiful love that it's gorgeous um another one that i've had i've had this quite a long time actually um is my mulberry amberly and this is in green glitter so as you can see i've got a bit of a, a glittery theme going off so i absolutely love sparkles and twinkles and anything that like shines so i'm trying to direct my collection down the sparkly route because i just love sparkly things so much so i think if you get to carry some sequins and sparkles it really does brighten your day up so this is the most beautiful green glitter had this quite a long time I'm trying to think how long i've had it i had it um i think i bought it in the sale mulberry sale probably about four years ago i think i've used it a bit i've not used it tons but it is still absolutely beautiful they did this in um gold as well so you can get a gold glitter one or the green one but i just love it it's so pretty when the sun hits it's absolutely amazing um next we have 
another Louis Vuitton. A Louis Vuitton Fleur de Jays. So again, this is my favorite Speedy. I absolutely love this bag. It is so special. It's just, it's just the normal sort of canvas, but then it has these beautiful, like sort of gray and black velvety sort of flowers across it. So it sparkles, but it's also velvet. And I have used it and I always will use it. I mean, you could save it for best, but if you save it for best, you'll never ever use it. So I just use it sometimes. I really, really enjoy it. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite bags. We've also got another speak speedy, another seeping one. So again, absolutely beautiful. So this is the Dama Iban, I think this one is. Um, so each little square is done with little blue sequins. The craftsmanship and the quality of this bag is absolutely beautiful. This one doesn't have feet. The Fleur de Jays one does have feet. So I don't, this is more like a traditional speed day wears because a lot of speedies don't have feet. Look at it. Oh, I could just watch it glitter all day. It's just so beautiful. Um, okay, so what shall we do next? Um, so then we've got, this is one I've not had that long. So this is a Chanel flat bag. So it's a single flap. So it's very easy to use. It's got no other things inside it or anything. It's lovely. And this is like a gray wool. If you can hear a dog snoring, by the way, it is my little pug. <laughs> so this is lovely, thick gray wool. Absolutely beautiful. And again, you can wear the strap either way. So you can have it double or single. Beautiful size, it holds so much, it's so lovely. Right, okay, don't know why my dog's barking. <laughs> Next bag, this is a very special one. So this is a special Alma, um, and it's got Louis Vuitton uh, canvas, and then wrapped around it is this uh, car fur, I think it is, with leopard print on it. So I think Beyonce was seen with one of these bags. They are very, very rare. Um, it's got a posh name, I can't remember what it says. It says inside it, Alana 1399. Um, I think it was a special edition in 1996. So again, it's quite an old bag. It is actually in pretty good condition to say how old it is because I know some of them pop up sale, but they're very, very bold. This one's not, it's got the odd little bold bit on it, but not really to say how old it is. And again, it, it doesn't have a long strap or anything. It just has this lovely, like a thick piece that goes over your arm and you can just hang off your arm. So beautiful. The craftsmanship on Louis Vuitton is just absolutely stunning. Uh, okay, so next we've got a super cute little mini. It looks so tiny. So this is a Chanel little mini um, flat bag. So again, it's a single flap and this is the mini square. So they do like a rectangle one or a square one. This is the square one. The square one actually holds more than you think it would. It's a really, really good size and they're just so lovely to use. And this is like a crocheted leather. It's still got the plastic on the hardware. That's why it looks blue. So it's got like gunmetal hardware and it's got all these like crocheting leather sections all across it. It's very, very cute. It's just so adorable and obviously it matches my pink outfit that I've got on today. So we'll put her out of the way. Then we've got another little Chanel mini. So this is like a little rectangular one, but this one's slightly smaller than the normal rectangular mini. Um, this one's got silver hardware and it's like a metallic uh, lilac -y colour. Again, I've debated about selling this because I found it a bit small, but then sometimes you use it and it's just so cute. I just love little things. Sometimes I like a big bag and sometimes I like a little mini one. But they just sit so nice and sort of high cross body. It's just so cute. Right, and then let's go for a big one then. So this is a bag I've had for a long, long time. So this is an Anya Hindmarsh uh, Ebury tote. And this is from the Roadwork collection. So I absolutely love this because my husband has a lot to do with the Roadwork stuff. Um, a mark on the back of it I didn't realize that so it's got a bit of a mark on the back of it that's a shame I don't know how that's happened my poor bag but anyway so this is from the road work collection so these are supposed to look like the chevrons on the road you know uh, when you're going along and you get like roundabouts and stuff you can see it so when the light hits this 
um, these reflective panels really light up. It's amazing when you get a torch on it, it's so fascinating. They are absolutely massive, huge bags. They're a bit of a workhorse really, and they're probably too big just to take shopping. But at one point, I absolutely loved big bags. So I did own three of these ones at, at one point. I loved them so much, but now I just find them so big. So that's that one. And then we've also got the red roadwork one. So this is the men at work one. So it's got the red roadwork sign that you see at the side of the road for men at work. So I did buy these new, most or pretty much all the other bags I bought secondhand. I am a pre-loved rose. I love secondhand stuff. But I did buy this new from the Anya outlet, which sadly shut down. It used to be at, it wasn't the one at Bistro. It was somewhere else in London and it closed down, but they had some really beautiful bags. Um, and it's just so cool. You don't really see bags like this anymore. Um, Anya Handmarch bags are just so amazing. The leather is beautiful and... They're just so, so well made. They're just amazing. So that's that one, a bit quirky. Um, then we've got another layer of tarn. So we've got a leopard print speedy. So this is made of like carpet fabric. Again, this one has got feet on the bottom. Um, it's got a luggage tag on it. That's not my initials though, but that came on it when I bought it. I think I bought it off eBay and it's just so quirky. I don't know if you can see the texture of it. It's like carpety and sort of really thick. Very cool, very unusual, real nice, real sort of nice statement. Again, you wouldn't really know it was Louis Vuitton. It's only when you get up really close that you can see the Louis Vuitton details on it. Then we've got um, a Chanel Rock the Corner bag which again, I really like this because when you use it and the sun hits it, it's got like gold perforated edges and the sun hits it and it like glints. Can you see? It's really, really attractive. And this one has got the most dainty little chain ever. So they did these in, I think like a navy, dark navy blue color as well, um, which obviously wouldn't show the wear as much as a lighter colored one. But the chain, oh, the chain is so adorable. It's very, very thin. And very dainty it's very different to the normal flap one which has got a lot of thicker chain oh it's so dainty it's so sweet and it's just such a pleasure to carry it's just adorable and again this one's got lovely gold hardware it's just a single flap one which a loads easier to use than the double flaps you can get in them a lot easier and quicker it's nice and puffy and it's just beautiful We've got um, I love the red one, Chanel. Um, I think this is the maxi one, or is it a jumbo? I think it's a maxi, but I'm not sure. But it's a double flap one, so again, it's got one flap, two flaps. Um, it's quite heavy, there's a lot more weight to them. Obviously, the chain is an awful lot thicker than it is on the smaller ones. They're a bit of a statement, but I absolutely love this bag. I love the colour. It's like a real true red. So like I said, when you put it next to the other one, you can see the difference. It's just absolutely stunning. They're all very similar, aren't they? But they're all sort of different sizes. And this one's got like a, like a matte goldy colour, like a pale gold. So that's lovely. Okay, so... Then we've got um, another one the same, but this one is caviar leather. So you can see the light like, grain in the caviar. This one's got gunmetal hardware. So it's the same as a red one, but a lot lighter. And it's like a pale pink colour. Sometimes it looks like a white colour, but it's not. It is like a pale pink in real life, but the camera never seems to pick it up. It always looks more whitey on camera. It's definitely pink in real life. We call it the ice cream bag because it's like a pink marshmallowy ice creamy colour. Absolutely beautiful with the gunmetal hardware. And then I've got a very, very traditional mulberry. So I've had this bag a very long time. A lovely lady called Siobhan sent me this when I first set up my YouTube channel. And I will treasure this bag forever. So it's a mulberry base water with silver hardware. A lot of mulberries have 
gold hardware not so many have the silver and it's like a lovely raspberry color again quite a big bag uh funny how you sort of went on to the smaller bags and you came back to the bigger bags and went back to smaller bags and it just all depends what you're doing and what you're using but i love this bag it's so lovely traditional good old bit of mulberry so lovely and then we've got another bit of mulberry -da! sorry i did buy this one last year absolutely love this so this is the newer mulberry base water and this is in mock crock leather i think this is size small but it's absolutely stunning so these have a long strap so you can use them with a long strap with a short strap um top handle it's so, it's got so many ways you can use it and it's just i really really like this bag a lot i'm so glad that i bought it i've used it a lot and i just i just love it so much it's just so nice i love this like crock effect and the gold and it's just absolutely beautiful so some of the newer mulberries i don't like so much but i really do like this one i like the fact you can zip it up and it's just lovely real pleasure to use i love that bag and then we've got i think we've only got two left to do i think i think i've done them all so the two that are left we've got the chanel mini reissue so this is the graffiti one so it was done by carl lagerfield um and it does change color so it goes from like green to pink again this is mock crock the same as the mulberry but it's not as obvious it's mock crock it's only when you look more closely you can see it i have mixed feelings about this bag i love the chain the chain is absolutely beautiful some bits of me love it and some bits of me don't like it that much so this might be on my to-go list i really can't make my mind up about it but it is beautiful and the way the chain just glides the chain is just absolutely stunning it is like a piece of jewelry in itself it's so so beautiful and obviously the pattern how it changes color is quite mesmerizing so it goes pink green absolutely stunning oh it's so pretty so that's that one and then i think this is the last one i think i've shown them all i probably switched this video off and realized that i've missed one or something but i don't think i have so this last one is my chanel boy bag so this is i'm sure it was like the dallas collection or something and I seem to think it was either 2017 or 2012, I'm not sure. And this one is covered in Swarovski crystals. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. It fascinates me. I mean, there's not really any light on in here or anything. And look how it shines. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like really thick, new book, like suede leather stuff. And it's just absolutely amazing it's such a special bag and i just love it so much i've not used it much this last year but again because of lockdown and stuff we didn't really go that far so i must remember to use it this year it's just so fascinating and this is the medium size and i think it's the old medium it's not the new medium size i think the new medium medium size is bigger than this one and it's absolutely beautiful so this is my little designer handbag collection um i have got a few more bags but they are more low end so i've got like a couple of zara's um i've got a couple from apache london which i absolutely adore um and then i have got a real sparkly one from urban outfitters which i did use quite a lot at the end of the year and i've got a new sea cream one from river island so i don't just use designer bags i do use all sorts of handbags i just love handbags i love taking it out with me for me it's like part of your outfit it's not just something you just grab and go i absolutely adore handbags i've always loved handbags right from being little even when i was a little girl i used to go in my mum's cupboards and fill bags my mum would say what are you doing i say i'm going shopping <laughs> i just love bags so much they're so special and if you love bags as much as i do you'll really have enjoyed this video and understand where i'm coming from if you don't love bags you'll be like oh why would you want all that I just love them they're so special but again i have built the collection up over a long time and nearly all of them have been pre-loved so i've never really been in a louis vuitton shop i've never really been in a chanel shop so for me it's all sort of pre-loved i've got them from sort of ebay uh people i've known met along the way to do handbags um bag mad booty i've had one off her before naughty pigeons nest they have some um you just have to look around there's a lot of pre-owned sites and handbag sellers and stuff but again you do have to be careful and always get them authenticated and checked that they are genuine um i think authenticate for you charge five pound to get them checked and 
it's just worth it for the sake of five pounds to get your bag checked that it is real so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this me and my lovely handbag so many many thanks for joining me so this is my 2022 collection video which I am hoping to downsize. There is rather a lot of handbags here. So if you do enjoy handbags, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you. I will see you very, very soon.